Please be advised, the following presentation is not intended for minors. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a very special stream. Uh, tonight, I am going to be checking out a game from one of my viewers. So, we are playing The Coil of Possibility today. Alrighty, now I gotta remember play the controls for RPG Maker games, because I legit haven't played uh, RPG Maker games in, like, since 2012, I think? Alright. Now, now, man, I know you can't tell my clones apart, but that doesn't mean you can just interrupt them. They aren't machines, they got feelings. Say, could you lend me a quick hand? You pick the kit, uh, kit from that chest and put it up on the bench. Is that a dog bark? <laughs> uh, through the course of your adventures, Dominic will find construction kits. Uh, when built, these kits become an assortment of essentials and utilities. Just not during the tutorial. Wow, that is... That is over the top. <laughs> I will say. That's like, oh my god, we've just finished the game. We beat the big bad guy, but no, I just opened up a chest. So tomorrow's the big day, huh? Yep, finally having a chance to check the so-called island for myself. And perhaps. Never got over losing your parents, did you? Yeah, I got a gift for you, man. <laughs> Dominique got four save kit thingies. I bring a report, sir. A report? Wouldn't have seen that one coming either. What was that? I'll never understand the forces that compel me to this guy's. But nobody seems to mind. I don't really need eyes for clairvoyance, sir. So I'm noticing the uh, the portraits, uh, like, they all have the same base head. Is that a uh, RPG Maker thing, or is that just for, like, convenience on your part? Ah, for convenience sake, got it. Twenty years ago in this wholly known world, a mysterious island appeared. Government sent investigation squads one after another, yet none returned. Dominique's parents were part of such squad. What happened, uh, which is, uh, which is the truth, even if I only turned the brutal stones that I didn't get to read in time, No! Title drop. Can't get back to the ship. Even if I could, it's closed off the sea. It truly has begun. Alright, save file one. Uh, somehow think you can gather some materials from this tree. Somehow managed to cut a full log. Obtained one log. Okay, so it's gonna be like a lot of crafting, I assume. Uh, what is this though? Oh, okay, I'm guessing this is supposed to be a cave. Oh, the wood just respawns if I do that. <laughs> I have found an exploit. Can I. Okay. Let's see combat 5 health, okay. Something tells me I'm not supposed to be doing this. <laughs> Just survived. Okay, yeah, don't do that. That looks like something I'm not supposed to do. Well, I'm on one health. That was probably a bad idea. I like the little timing puzzle of this. The alchemy station kit. Wow, I might actually uh, not die now. Save thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Dear diary, hya 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 yeah. Ha hya. Hya too, what a courageous call. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, Cold Quote has been uh, in the game since 2016. Oh, wow. I don't have any of those. Okay, I have nothing. Well, they are just there. Okay, they do seem to be permanent, at least. Now, is this an enemy, or...? Alright, then. Well, at, least, uh, at least I have a save station somewhere I can craft. 
Uh, this is a central base. Uh, the Nokia family worked this land. Also, we could accommodate the resources for this elongated endeavor. Alas, food did not grow in time. Before long, the albatross lost their wits and cannibalized each other. Uh, starting with those who dared dirty their hands with the land. Law! Hello? What is that? Magic insight. Uh, shiny thing make do Dominique smartest. <laughs> Magic insights increase maximum gauge by one. There are more statues like this one hidden in the wild. A greater gauge means more usable gauge skills. Okie dokie. Oh, what do we got? Wooden bat anywhere scheme. Okay, so is that a... <laughs> is that a bat as in a weapon bat? Or is it like <laughs> a wooden decoy bat? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a weapon. Uh, try the oracle menus in the uh, items menu. Oh, okay. Um, flint two logs. Don't need crafting station for this. Oh, okay. It is a weapon. Uh, swing at this with a wooden bat. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure, I'll swing at this thing. Then a bridge will magically appear. What is this, a video game? <laughs> what is this, a video game? Okay, I'm starting to get the idea of this game. You craft things to, uh, find new ways through areas. Uh, I should have a... enough of potions. Coming station with a proper kit. Oh, okay. No. I, I need to go all the way back. If I want to make potions then. Okay, since I have a bunch of red potions now. Recovers 20% of health. Oh, okay. Not a fixed amount. Okay. This is... This is going to be a thing. Blue Anywhere skin. Need flint and bone. So what does the flute do? Excessive noise may cause severe insomnia and paranoia. Wind damage. Okay. Oh, wait. Bat. Uh, very poor stability. Uh, an impact with highly dis uh, disposable material could make it fall. Oh, so... I didn't realize that the bat broke when I used it? Starting to get the idea of this. It's kind of got a... Uh, Metroidvania kind of feel to it. So Vanguard, if I may ask, what exactly uh, inspired you to start making this game? Uh, I got some cues from uh, Monster Hunter Gathering quests in Zelda, but what made me uh, jump the gun was uh, feeling very, very burnt on games as uh, games as a service. Ah, understandable. At the time, there uh, weren't many games with exploration, and the games that did uh, was seen as uh, Oh, God, I can't read from here. A liability. Right, right, right. I uh, said to make a game where exploration is uh, critical to the design and everything else uh, was dependent on it. Right, right. So yeah, that's something you don't really see a lot in games anymore. It's just... Just games all about exploration. <laughs> what is that? Oh, Lord. Oh, hello. One plus one. Okay, two, so this one? It's times two, so is it two times two, so four? Minus three is one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Try not to sprint right past this one. 
So times 16 and divide by 8. So it was 1, so it would be 16 divided by 8, so 2. I don't know what that is. I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea what that symbol is. I was not good at math. I didn't get to the point where I learned what the fuck that is. R to the power of three. Okay, so that would be six take three. Okay, so three. Crap. Yeah, to the power of means like, so two to the power of three, that would be six, or am I wrong? Well, I'm clearly wrong because I went with three and it didn't work. I think I may have forgotten what to the power of actually means. God, Th this is what happens when you like fail uh, math at school and then haven't gone to school since like a decade. <laughs> uh, two times two. Okay, okay, so uh, two times two would be four, then four times two, uh, would be eight, so eight, okay, so it's five. Roman numerals, okay. <laughs> Vanguard, you're making me write things down? <laughs> you're actually making me write things down? I gotta get, a uh, notepad up. Okay. All right, Jake, you haven't done math in over a decade. Time to do, time to do some math. Okay. So this is what we got at the moment. So it's five times five in parentheses, negative nine plus in parentheses, uh, 30 divided by three, negative in parentheses, 30 uh, divided by 30, close parentheses, times two, close parentheses. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, with uh, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to do uh, the, like, whatever is in the uh, parentheses first. So this uh, 30 divided by 3, that is, uh, that eventually becomes 10. So changing the equation to 30 divided by 3, uh, take 10 times 2. Now that there's two equations in there, uh, divide comes first. So that once again, that would be uh, 10. So then it'd be uh, 10 take 10 uh, times two, but multiplication comes first. So 10 times two becomes 20. So yeah, that would be negative 10. That closes that bracket. And since there was nothing else in that bracket, it leaves us with five times five uh, take nine plus negative 10. So, 5 times 5 is 25. So then we have uh, 25 take 9, which is 16. So 16 plus negative 10, since that's a double negative, 16 take 10, so it'd be 6. Alright, chat, is it door number 6? Hey, there we go. Alright. Vanguard, fuck off! <laughs> fuck off! You fuck off with that shit. Plus pi, take 50 times 32 to the power of 100. S square root, like rooted by the start date of your save file. Full disclosure, I kept forgetting the solution during testing. Oh lord. <laughs> what, is this a joke? Yes, yes, indeed, it is. Ah, oh, the young no longer respect people like me anymore. Can an old math problem just enjoy the equation of younger radicals solving into a tangent in peace? Three. The solution is three. Now leave me be. <laughs> Don't give me that look. It's nothing like that. <laughs> I actually thoroughly enjoyed that. Like, as dumb as that was, that was hilarious and fun. <laughs> Definitely one of the, uh, experiences in the game, yeah. It is quite the experience. Uh, some people flip the, uh, second they see Roman numerals. 
See, I actually know my Roman numerals, like, mainly because I fucking know tarot cards and shit. Ah, oh, it's just another one. Alright. Never mind. I, I never grabbed that. Uh, a big jar? Use big jars to increase your maximum health by one. There are more statues like this one hidden in the wild. I'm dumb. How did I not see that? I walked by it so many times as well. Here we go. A to B gate and B to A gate found. Oh. We've found the ability to teleport. Cold stone anywhere scheme. Ooh, what does that do? Flint and ice lily. Okay. So, does that technically count as, like, the thing I need for the flowers at the beginning of the game? Please tell me my assumptions are right. Aha! Okay, where else was I stuck on that had those things? Did I just not go here? Oh my god, what am I doing? How did I not see this? Vanguard, there is so much stuff in this game. Holy shit. Still somehow finding new stuff I haven't seen in the like beginning areas. Earth Smithy Kit. Okay, so the Fire Smithy Kit's the only one we don't have yet. Oh my god, this goes back to the snow area. We were just here! Oh my god. We were literally just here. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, I found a shortcut at least. Dominic unlocked the gauge skill guard. Oh, I can block now. <laughs> There's actual combat stuff in this now. It's not gonna lie, I've been like I've, I've been avoiding um uh combat like the play, because it just felt like it got in the way, to be honest, instead of actually, you know, being a part of the game. But now I'm finding actual skills and stuff. Dominic attained the vine boots. Ah, uh, those are the boots that finally let me, like, go up. A uh, design that imitates low-frame animation. <laughs> god, uh, these boots let you climb vines! Oh my god, I can climb vines now. Oh, that one wasn't moving. I thought that was something I could interact with, but... Oh. Okay, it's the first fight I couldn't immediately run away from. And I haven't saved in a while. Oh no. I'm going to die, aren't I? Oh, thank god. Okay. Run away! I uh, can't make out the procedure for this recipe. It's almost as if it was cut content with a purpose to sell you a new alchemy station. <laughs> Boy, that's a... That's a dig. And knowing what I know now about your thought process when making this game, that's quite the dig. Okay, so these are something randomly played. Oh, okay. We have figured out what the flute does, finally. All right. <laughs> Dominic attained the Forza bandana. Feeling really bad for that chicken. Yes, it's a bandana for your feet. Move rocks. <laughs> All right then. Yeah, I'd have to change my gear if I wanted to go up there and I'm trapped. I am trapped in here. Well, uh... Oh, no, you take no damage. Uh... 
Run away. Okay, yeah, I'm stuck. I'm going. I'm going to die. I can't get out. Running away was literally the worst thing to do at that point. Okay, in my defense, every fight that I've uh, had to do so far led to me almost dying, and you know I've been running away from every fight because it didn't feel necessary to fight things. <laughs> it really didn't feel necessary to fight things. Well, game over. Had fun. I did. I did. I'm okay. I'm gonna be brutally honest here. When I booted this up to uh, set everything up and saw there was an RPG Maker game, I was very, very skeptical. Because I have played a lot of bad RPG Maker games back in the day. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But I legitimately had a lot of fun with that. That's that's just not me being like, oh, I'm being nice to the dude in my chat. No, I, I actually did have a lot of fun. That was great. That that math puzzle, I I do not remember the last time I actually had to like take out a notepad and like write something down and like actually try to figure something out for myself. That was that was legitimately great. I'd love to I'd love to actually see more of the game. But like, I will say though, I will say, I do feel like the combat stuff isn't necessary and kind of gets in the way. I will say that with, that is my uh, one bit of criticism. I'm assuming there's a reason that they're there. But if there is, I didn't see it. Uh, combat is in the way. It is your uh, second chance at avoiding a misstep. Right, right. Things uh, change slightly as you progress. Right, right. But, but yeah, like the the exploration stuff. It is uh, the exploration has been like quite the treat because uh, <laughs> like I just didn't expect how big the game was. Like, like right off the bat, when like the exploration and the crafting stuff came up, it was like, oh yeah, that's it's novel. I'll probably see most of it by like the two hour mark. But like, no, like every 10, 15 minutes, I'm seeing something new. There is just so fucking much. Not haven't even seen half of it. Wow, <laughs> I can see why this took six years. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, there there is the link to uh to the demo. So So yeah, check out uh Spanish Vanguard's game, uh The Coil of Possibility. I legitimately like loved it. <laughs> I I loved it. It was that was great. <laughs>